Here's where I am in the process of building the X. So I cut a length 22 and a half inches with the circular saw, which is the depth of the X cabinet. So 22 and a half from here to here. And then I set my table saw at 35.4 degrees, which is the angle I needed to cut for the bottom, which I did there. And then I realized I needed to cut 54.6, which is the opposing angle on the other side. The table saw only goes to 45, so I had to look it up online because I couldn't remember how to do it. And honestly, this does not seem like the best way, but here's what we're gonna do. So I have it set still for 35.4 degrees, which was this first cut. Um, to do the opposing angle, the only way to do it, I can think, is to leave it like that. And instead of running it through like this, like you normally would, I'm gonna run it through vertically because that will get the right angle that I need. I really don't think this is ideal, but I just have no other way. I have no other ideas. I don't know how to do this. So hopefully it works. If it doesn't, I'm gonna take a break for the day. So I've got the angles cut. If I had to guess, I'm probably gonna have to sand to get it to fit perfectly. But, oh my goodness, are you kidding me? First time, are you kidding me? That's awesome.
I'm working on the trim um, right now and I've gotten a lot of the upper trim installed, but next um, I have to put a trim piece here. There will be a countertop, so we won't really see this trim piece. This is not the countertop, this is just like a mock-up. Um, but, so I need a trim piece here um, just to cover the end of the plywood. And I can't have it the typical one by two um, <clears throat> width because then I wouldn't be able to open this. It won't fit here. So basically I have to rip it to this exact dimension. So I'm taking a piece of plywood and putting it vertically on the table saw so I know exactly how thick, so I don't have to measure it. And then next I'll install that piece and I get it worked working on these verticals. I'm doing the X last because there's angles involved and that's always fun. So I knew that the X's were gonna be the hardest to trim out just because the angles are further than my miter saw goes and there are um, tricky little cuts that I had to cut into it. So what I did was make a template first um, and it actually was easier than I was expecting because I freaked out and almost wanted to just stop. But um, here I've got it marked. So this is the top angle on both sides. You just flip it one way or the other. And this is the bottom angle with the little cutout on um, either side. And I cut the first one and it is a perfect fit. I cannot even believe it. The final step to completing the wine room is putting the new floor in and we're using Smart Core Pro which we got from Lowe's and we've actually used it in the laundry room of our um, house and it is super easy to install, super heavy duty. Like we pulled the washer and dryer over it and it totally does not scratch um, and we just like the different colors. So we picked a different color this time to try to kind of coordinate with the wine rack and I love this color. So we're actually pulling it out into the hallway. Um, um, just to kind of redo this floor. As you can see, I got stain all over the floor. I mean, I knew I was gonna do this floor, so I didn't really, didn't really care. Um, so, next step is install. Here we go. 